It's getting hot in here. So hot, so take no, I, I won't do that. I'm sorry. Hallo zusammen and welcome to a new fan mail unboxing. I'm not the biggest fan of the term fan, with the exception of the fan meaning, you know, a big thingy that blows wind into your face. That is a cool fan, but you know, I was sent a new package and this time from Canada or more specifically from the region Quebec. I learned from a video that the uh, sender sent me, otherwise it wouldn't be a sender, that Canada and Quebec are related, yeah, but it's, there are certain like cultural differences and it's interesting. I didn't know that stuff. Gotta be careful with generalizations, of course, but I think I can speak for most Germans when I say that I don't think many Germans would know these things. Thanks, Charles, the person who sent me this package, for telling me more about Quebec and this thingy that you sent me, which I'm gonna be unboxing in a second. What I wanted to say, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's unbox this package from Canada, Quebec. More specifically. Canada Post or Poste Canada? I don't know. I don't speak French, I'm afraid. Uh, anyway, really, really interesting to get stuff from other countries and cultures. I'm a curious person. Most of you may know that, in case you've watched my channel for a long time now, um, or a longer period of time, that is. Okay, so. Wow, whoa, this is, <laughs> this is massive <laughs> and heavy. That's what she said. Um, no, it is. Sirop d'érable pur. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't want to butcher this, but I'm gonna try my very best, of course. Oh, but it also says in English, product of Canada, pure maple syrup, one liter. Look at that. that and it's really heavy. And you know, one kilogram at least, I'd say. This is really, really heavy. Um, so what's interesting about this, and Charles also said that in the video that he actually filmed for this unboxing and for me, you know, doing a taste test reaction of sorts. Um, this maple syrup is specific to the region of Quebec. There are many, many counties, I guess you can call them, with maple syrup, of course, in Canada. But this is specific to Quebec and especially to a little town that is close to where he lives. It was harvested there, basically, or produced there, right um, there in that location. So it's a very regional product, if you will, uh, and a very, well, purely natural product. Disclaimer, I have tried maple syrup before, but that was, you know, like German market maple syrup, that is Ahorn Sirup. You know, so in German it's der Ahorn, right? And it's der Sirup, the syrup, maple syrup. We also have maple sugar or Sucre de Rabel. I'm really sorry, Charles. I know that your native language is French, actually. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I try, you know, maple sugar. Interesting. So I'm also going to try that for, you know, I guess, uh, pastries and everything, uh, stuff like that. So, really looking forward to that taste. You know, I, I as I said before, I have tried maple syrup before um, at Rock am Ring, in fact, German rock festival with my friends uh, because one of them brought maple syrup, but you know, the, the cheap standard German maple syrup thingy. I couldn't actually describe what it tastes like, you know? With some things you can say, okay, well, I guess this is sweet and everything, okay, but with other things, you know, like chocolate, you may be able to explain the taste and the flavor, you know, more specifically, but with maple syrup, I couldn't do that. And this is, wow, these are sugar bombs as well. Maple leaf shaped uh, sweets, I think. I don't know what they taste like, but uh, also really, really interesting. And also, this isn't a political statement whatsoever. I know that, you know, there are 
people that are or see themselves as more of like Quebecians, I think, like people from Quebec as opposed to being Canadian and vice versa and everything. I'm vaguely familiar of that, you know, I'm vaguely aware of that because of Charles's video. Uh, so thanks again for telling me. So he sent me both flags, actually. Of course, the maple leaf, der Ahorn, once again, the Canadian flag and the flag of the region Quebec, which I th I've also seen before, especially the symbol, I, I think. And Charles also sent me a letter. This can, die Dose, as far as I know, and as far as Charles actually told me in the video, is the more common way for Quebecians, Quebec people, um, to buy maple syrup, apparently, which is interesting. This is a can of maple syrup from Quebec, as noted on the bottom of the can. This is what I sent you. It's not easy to get outside of the province. We kind of protect our gold treasure. <laughs> Best to taste it with Pfannkuchen oder Waffeln. Pancakes, der Pfannkuchen, pancakes, or Waffeln, die Waffel, singular, die Waffeln, plural, wafers, or waffles. Is there a difference between wafers and waffles? I don't know. Feel free to tell me though. If the syrup crystallizes, just put the container in a pot with water and slightly heat it to uncrystallize the syrup. Do not overheat anyway, the container is made of plastic. Do not try in a microwave. You can transfer the syrup in a glass bottle if you want, just to keep it in the refrigerator. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, I may as well do that. Apparently Charles, and I guess other Canadians, I don't know, uh, isn't the biggest fan of American maple syrup. <laughs> in comparison to this, the, the OG thingy, <laughs> I guess. So Charles, thanks once again for sending me this package and also for filming that 15 minute video just for me, for the purpose of telling me more about Canada. That is great to know because as I said before, and I think it is true, most Germans wouldn't know that stuff. They would know of maple syrup, I guess, most definitely, because you can also get that in Germany. But then again, yeah, it's like the, the the cheap supermarket version, if you will. Um, I think, you know, nothing against those products and brands and everything, but this seems to be the real deal as far as I'm concerned. And I'm really looking forward to try that. I have to get some wafers first, but that shouldn't be as big of a deal. So once again, thank you very much, Charles. And thanks for the support on patreon.com slash definitely, as well as, uh, well, to all my other patrons over there and also the YouTube channel members. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciated um, your support throughout the months and years. It really has helped me immensely with, you know, buying new equipment when it was necessary and everything and keeping this running. Makes me speechless every single time, again and again. It really does. So thanks from the bottom of my German heart. You can find my PO box address in the video description. And yeah, that's basically it for today, I think. Thanks for everything. Thanks, Charles. Thanks for watching, everyone. Definitely. See you next time. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye-bye.